I'm going to do a little stretch routine you can do after a workout, after a hike, uh, or just throughout the day if you're feeling a little sluggish and you want to just stretch out those muscles to get some deep breathing in. This is great. Okay, we're going to start on the floor, on your backs, bent knees, abs engaged, crown your head nice and long, shoulders down and relaxed, and you're going to pull one knee into your chest, feeling that nice stretch in the hamstring, and we're going to do a nice big circle with your left foot, just like your big toe is drawing, a large circle, keeping that ankle flexibility, Ankles are so important for stability and balance. Really important to keep them flexible. And the other direction. Again, nice big circle. Keeping the crown of your head nice and long. And your shoulders down and relaxed. Breathing throughout. All right, here's your stretch toward the ceiling. Legs should be mostly straight, soft knee, clasping behind, underneath the knee, gently pulling that leg into the body, feeling the contact of that low back with the mat, feeling a nice stretch in your hamstring or back of the legs, and I like to do nice belly breaths here, inhaling, deep into your lower belly, and exhaling, blowing it out. The deep breathing is great not only for the stretching, but for your relaxing, and stress release. Keeping that foot nice and relaxed. And remember with stretching, going to a point of slight discomfort, okay. Going to a point of pain, not okay. So, you want to feel a nice stretch, but you never want to work through pain on a stretch. All right, now you're going to Cross that left ankle over the right knee. We're going to do a figure four stretch, opening up that left hip. You're going to pull that right leg up. Pull that right leg in. As you do that, if you want to make the stretch a little bit more intense with your left arm, you can actually kind of press gently on that left inner thigh. Open up that hip. All right, hip flexors are muscles that tend to be shortened throughout the day as we sit, as we drive. So really important to keep the hips open. It does help prevent lower back pain, okay? All right, now you're gonna slowly lower there. Now we're gonna stretch the outside of the hip. You're gonna grab the outside of that left knee with the right hand, crossing that leg over the body. Now you can stop whenever you like here. What I'm looking for is a hip stretch on the outside of the left hip. You can stop here, or you can bring it all the way to the floor. I like to raise that left arm up and out at the same time. So while I'm stretching the outside of my left hip and lower back, I'm getting a nice chest opener here, okay? Again, should feel really good. Head and neck are relaxed. And you're holding here and breathing. Nice deep belly breaths here. All right, coming back to center, we're gonna go through that same sequence with the right leg. So bring that right knee into the chest, pulling gently in, feeling the contact of the low back with the mat as you do nice big ankle circles here, drawing a circle with that big toe. Keeping those ankles nice and flexible. And shoulders are down, have that nice and long here. And other direction. Nice big circle with the big toe. Keeping your deep belly rest going. Okay, reaching that leg straight toward the ceiling now. Foot is relaxed. I like to think about reaching my heel toward the ceiling. Clasping behind, underneath the knee. Gently pulling that straight leg with the soft knee into the chest. And holding there as you deep belly breathe here. Head and neck nice and long. Shoulders are down. 
Nice way to keep track of your stretch timing is just to do three to five deep belly breaths. So if you do three to five, five second breaths, you've got your 15 to 20 seconds, 25 second uh, stretch, okay? Crossing that right ankle over the left knee now, doing the figure four stretch on this side, pulling that left leg in, opening up the right hip, gently pressing on the right inner thigh if you'd like a little extra there. Really open up that right hip and hold it here. This stretch can be done on the floor. It can also be done sitting on a bench, leaning forward where you have gravity actually working with you. Great stretch to do throughout the day if you've been at a desk, if you've been driving, opening up the hips. Really important again to prevent any kind of back pain or injury. All right, this time you're gonna grab the outside of the right knee, crossing the right leg gently over the body, reaching that right arm out to the side, so as we're stretching that right hip and lower back, we're also getting the stretch in the right pectoral or chest muscles on the right side, so opening up the chest, stretching the outside of the right hip, stretching that lower back on the right side, should feel great. Do some deep breaths here. All right, coming back to center, we're gonna gently roll up and over. A lot of you are familiar with the cat cow, which is a great back stretch. We're gonna do that next. Hands are gonna be underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. As you inhale, you're gonna arch your back, raise that tailbone up, head goes up, five second hold. As you exhale, you're going to tuck that tailbone, pull that knee, you're going to drop that head and neck and relax. And you're going to go for a five second hold in each direction. So inhale up, chest up, tailbone up. Make sure the shoulders stay down here, they're not up here. They stay down like you're pressing into the mat, okay? And your exhale, drawing that leg with, tucking that tailbone, really engaging the out, relaxing the head and neck. And we're going to do one more here, inhale, tailbone up, chest up, and exhale, drawing that big in, tucking that tailbone, head and neck. All right, we're going to do one more hip flexor stretch, putting that left leg in front, right knee underneath the right hip, left ankle underneath the left knee. All right, this is great for your psoas muscle or hip flexors here. You're going to lean into that right hip. If the knee is going beyond the foot, just like a lunge, you want to put that feet foot forward so that the knee stays close to the ankle there. You should feel the stretch in this right hip. I like to raise the right arm up with this, so I'm actually getting the stretch all the way up that right side. So through the right hip, all the way up through the right arm. Holding here, also working on some balance here. Keeping the head and neck in that nice neutral position. And you're breathing. Another great stretch you could do on a bench or a sofa or a bed, all right? In that case, you would put your hands, keep your hands down if you're on a bench, of course. Keep your stability. All right, other side. Right leg comes in front. Left knee under the left hip. Gently leaning into that left hip. Again, adjusting your stance accordingly. So if you're too close stance, knee's gonna to come too far forward. You want to be right in the position where your knee is about over the ankle, leaning into that left hip, left arm up, continuing that stretch all the way up the left side. Shoulders are down, and breathing. Should 
feel a nice stretch all the way from the left hip, all the way through that left arm, reaching toward the ceiling. Clasping the hands behind the hips, shoulders are down, chest is up. Another great stretch to do after you've been out driving, if you've been on your computer for long periods of time, taking breaks throughout the day just to do this stretch for 25 seconds will do wonders. Um, other options here are variations, raising the arms up. You can actually gently bend over so you feel that hamstring stretch as well. Arms coming further up, heading on your shoulders, and your level of flexibility, you can adjust that accordingly. All right, but just standing here is great too. All right, shaking those arms out. Inhale here, crossing in front, little squat. Exhale, reaching up nice and tall on the ceiling, like to squeeze those glutes on that exhale. Inhale, arms in front. Exhale, nice and tall. And inhaling, arms in front. 